A lion was dreaming asleep in his bed when something suddenly awoke him as it ran over his head. Whatever's that? He exclaimed, and he shot out a paw and grabbed a small mouse that he'd not seen before. The lion roared in anger. You woke me as I slept. I shall eat you for supper. Please don't. The mouse wept. King Lion, you are powerful, mighty, and strong. Please don't eat a poor mouse who meant you no wrong. Ha ha ha! Laughed the lion. It's true, you are weak. I am strong, as you say. So I'll let you speak. I am sorry I woke you. Please be kind. Let me go. I may one day repay you. You really don't know. You repay me? The lion laughed. That's a joke. But he let the mouse go, and he gave him a poke, saying, "Off you go, little mouse." I don't expect you'll be back. At the most, you'd have made me a very small snack. So the mouse bowed in thanks and then went on her way. And the lion never saw her until it happened one day he was taking his usual stroll in the jungle when a rope trap ensnared him and he got in a tangle. He struggled and struggled, but the ropes only got tighter. It didn't help in this case to be a great fighter. Help! Let me out! Let me free! I'm in pain. But his roaring and crying were to be all in vain, until a small mouse in the bushes pricked up her ears and ran to his aid and swallowed her fears. Remember me, your highness. She found the courage to say, "You showed me kindness, and I said that one day I'd repay you. And now I'm really quite sure I can help you." And then, quickly, she started to gnaw away at the ropes until she'd gnawed a big hole, which the lion fell through safely, body and soul. At last, I am free, little mouse. Thanks to you, you may be small, but you are honest and true. Your honesty and kindness is where your strength lies. You came to my aid when you heard my cries. The moral is surely: no matter how small, honesty and kindness makes the greatest of all. Who dared to wake me up? I'm sorry, lion. I didn't mean to disturb you. You're brave to disturb the king of beasts, but I'll gobble you up now. I'm hungry. I'm sorry I disturbed you. Forgive me today, and I'll help you some day. <laughs> A tiny fellow like you helping me run away. Before I decide to eat you. Thank you, lion. I will never forget your kindness. I'm hungry. I have to find something to eat. Wow! What luck that I found such a delicious piece of meat. It's a trap! Help! Help! Let me out! I think the mouse might help me. Please help me rescue the lion. Try 
to find the right. It seems to be a dead end. Thank you for helping me, Mouse. Be good. Expect good. The lion spared my life, and I saved his. Late one summer time, when the corn was golden yellow, a jolly grasshopper jumped by, a cheery, merry fellow. He loved to play his fiddle, and he loved to sing and dance. Amongst the corn, he'd leap and laugh, and hop and play and prance. He had passed his summer days just fiddling, having lots of fun, idling all his time away in the warm, bright summer sun. Then, by chance, one sunny day, he met a working ant who was clever, wise. Industrious and very diligent, he saw the ant was hard at work dragging an ear of corn with all his might. It was twenty times his size. Such an extraordinary sight! Goodness! Chirped the grasshopper. Why not stop with me and play? Why work so hard on such a bright and glorious summer's day? The ant then turned and stopped and looked the grasshopper in the eye. You foolish, silly time waster! I shall tell you why. The sun is shining. Yes, of that I am well aware. But I am gathering in the harvest while the harvest is still there, and I suggest you would be wise to follow my advice. Store some food for winter while the weather is still nice. But surely," said the grasshopper, "the winter won't come for a while. To work on such a glorious day is really not my style." The working ant took up his load and, with a shaking of his head, said, "Goodbye. I must prepare for winter, and my family must be fed." The grasshopper waved his fiddlestick and ignored the ant's advice, and he hopped away and fiddled while the weather was still nice. But the seasons change, and winter came as it was sure to do. The field was bare and empty, where the golden corn once grew. The ant had stored corn wisely. He had food the winter through. But the grasshopper went hungry. There was nothing he could do. He had ignored the ant's advice, and now it really was too late. You cannot eat fried fiddle. It doesn't make a tasty plate. The moral of this story is: of sound advice, take heed. In times of plenty, save and store in case of future need. Hey, ants! Why are you working when you can have fun in the summer? Poor grasshopper, work hard if you want to make it through the winter. Are you joking? There's food everywhere, and I can build a house whenever I want. Poor grasshopper, he doesn't know that there'll be no food or shelter in the winter. Hey, why can't you enjoy the summer? Winter is far away. Grasshopper, I hope you'll be fine when winter comes. Ah,、oh, it's awesome to enjoy the summer. Grasshopper. Doesn't want to build a house. Let's help Ant collect wood chips and wheat grains. Thank you. These wood chips will warm my house in the winter. Thank you. This ear of wheat will last me through December. Thanks. These ears of wheat will taste delicious on New Year's Eve. Find a bucket to collect dewdrops, for we need to gather dew now. Yes, this bucket is perfect for gathering dewdrops.
The bucket is only half full. We need a bucket full of dewdrops. Good. The bucket is full. I'm ready for the cold winter now. I wish the rain would stop. My wings are wet. Is there a shelter? Poor Grasshopper might catch a cold. Let's find him a home. The daisy's petals are wilted. I need to find a better place. This is Ant's house. I won't knock on his door. This burdock plant is drooping. I can't stay here. I should have listened to the ant and prepared for autumn and winter. It's cold and lonely out here. I hope ant will take pity on me. I can't move. Please knock the door for me. What brings you here, dear grasshopper? Please let me in, Ant. You were right about preparing for winter. Now you can sing and dance if you wish, but it's a lesson for you. Next winter, take care of yourself.